I don't know which of these to go for, Mazzy. Yeah, we get so much advice. There's Just a few companies doing them, but this one's 450 fitted. That's a good price. 4G, not 5G, but 5G is useless. Don't be, you can pay an extra hundred pounds just to have 5G. It's a waste of money. My phone don't do 5G anyway, and you. I think you've only ever gotten it once. By the time <laughs> 5G is readily available everywhere, it's going to yeah. be. These will be out of date anyway. Yeah. So, so there's all your information anyway. Yeah, I'm going to get a leaflet from these guys because I might be very interested in this one. Rural. Boosted internet solution for rural areas. Yeah, I need a leaflet. I need to study this one. I do like that though, Mazzy. It's a very small one. The yeah. other companies are quite a big oh, dome. Are they? Yeah. Oh, okay. So just speaking to the gentleman, this is what I was looking at. £450 fitted so basically, uh, in Cheshire. What you can do There's a four-week backlog um, at the moment, which isn't bad at all, considering the times. Um, but he's actually suggested not to get that top, because if you got that one, you'd have to cut an extra hole in your roof. <laughs> he's suggesting one of these, which is on the roof there, and you can have your TV, just take your old TV aerial off, and the Wi Fi is on top of that. So, yeah, I'm very interested in this one. As I say, there is another company doing them, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a matter of seeing which one is going to be the better booster, really, isn't it? I think they'll uh, be the same, Mazzy. Yeah, they do an array of other little bits and pieces as well. They do solar um, panels, uh, televisions, satellite navigation. But yeah, that's all I'm interested in at the moment. And I would have got that today if it wasn't for you spending us money yesterday. Thank you very, very much. No, thank you. <laughs> you big meanie. Why? If you hadn't spent that money yesterday, Mazzy, I found something I could have spent it on. <laughs> it's a boy's toy. <laughs> this looks really good. Look at these scooters. £400, £500, and look at that beast. That is beautiful. Electric scooter. That would be perfect for us now, really, wouldn't it? You know, we've talked about... Uh, Bikes in the past, yeah. but I'm scared with your leg. If I know. your leg goes on a bike, you're going to fall off. <laughs> with a scooter, this will go 20, no, 28 miles, Mazzy. Wow, that's quite powerful, isn't it? 15 mile an hour. Oh. That's incredible. And the cheaper one, 15 miles max. Very good. And they wouldn't take up as much space, you know. No, I imagine they fold up quite well like this actually, they fold up like that. Yeah, yeah. Quite practical. Do like them. So you were looking at mats, weren't you? Yeah, this Any is another product I was after. And you know, for the days that we can't get the awning up. These are waterproof, are they? One hundred percent. They're what you call a European mat. They're all stitched with a, a waterproof stitching. Yeah, all you the look. corners are all um, peg friendly. So what that means is they've all got loops on the grass. Yeah. When you peg it down, you're not pegging through your I mat. I did wonder if that. And they're all that, eco yeah. friendly as well. They're all PVA free and a hundred percent mesh. Yeah. As well. And this particular one's two and a half meters by four and a half meters, mm -hmm. seventy. Yeah, the original design, so what that's meaning is um, basically Brunner designed all this match, yeah. Brunner designed everything that's been around since 1960. Oh, okay. Everything else that you've seen in the showground is like a copy version of the Brunners. Oh, so every year Brunner will launch the yeah. stuff in Germany yeah. um, at the Dusseldorf shore, mm -hmm. and then the following year everyone brings everything else out off the oh. back of it. So just feeling the quality of these, these are really good quality. It's like bouncy. Yeah. yeah. I think even on your gravel pitches, I think that would be really comfortable. You can literally yeah. drive onto the edges of them as well. Right. Without them splitting apart. The, uh, the chap was just saying there, uh, what are they called? Sand? The sand friendly. Sand so basically friendly. Basically, when you're yeah. abroad, a lot of the yeah. pitches in like Spain and everything, you, you sit, they sit you on the beach. Yeah. So you put that out, and basically all you do is grab the corner, shake it, and everything just drops back through. That's perfect, so. isn't it? Yeah, really good. Very nice. Yeah. I will just show these as well. These are scented um, toilet cassette fluids. They are. They were the best, weren't they, babe? For the toilet blues and stuff. Like I that. can't remember. I'll yeah, be honest with I you. remember. It's we a couple had... of years ago since we used them. Yeah, they do bubble gum, berry filling, 
cherry and all sorts. These were good. Can do. I think I found a bucket Mazzy for you to throw when you're washing the van. Yeah. 14 pounds collapsible. Yeah. Uh, we do need a bucket, we haven't got a bucket believe it or not. But the beauty about these, what I'm thinking, because we have a little a sink don't we? Yeah. We have a sink. A sink bowl, washing up bowl. bowl I call it. Washing up bowl. <laughs> to empty as grey waste. It's not much of a gap between the pipe and the floor so yeah. it has to be something quite small. Beauty with this is, you could have it halfway. Yeah. And I think that will fit under. And I can then use it with the washermatic system that we bought yesterday. And you can use it to wash the van, yeah? Yeah, definitely going to get one of those, yeah? We'll come back for one of them, yeah? yeah. Just notice these little doormats. Now they're smaller than your average home doormat, which I really like. £8 each. I like those. Okay, first electric bikes of the show, am I? Yes. These look interesting. I love this. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Electro trike. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Three wheeler. <laughs> Two thousand pounds. For me. One. Yeah, exactly. I for was going to say because I haven't ridden a bike, and that would be perfect, really. You wouldn't fall off it. No, it folds but up quite small, really. It's too big for us, though. It still folds up quite small. Oh, it does, but yeah. that wouldn't go in our gap. We couldn't get one of them in there. No, we wouldn't want one. We'd want two, wouldn't we? And this is like single versions. They are nice. Yeah, I do like the style. Yeah, yeah the style's lovely. I've never seen that before. That's actually really genius. Twin person umbrella. Oh, that's brilliant, Mazzy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> this is the company we actually spent three hundred pounds with yesterday. You didn't know that. <laughs> no, that was the total. Uh, that was our after cooling system. How did yeah. you know? Because we build it, we make it, so... I'm how do you know that's what we brought? Because I know the price. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we bought that yesterday. Very impressed. And we thought we are sure these. Now, I don't know if this is the same make as the guy who had one. We went in his van the other, in his motorboat. Yes. And he had a big cooler yeah. in the back, something It looks like, like this. this, it does look like this. Yeah, so this is the total freeze range. So they, they work very much like the cooler you bought. They work on 12 volt, 24 volt mains power. Yeah. Uh, but very efficient, so they're only pulling 45 watts. 45 oh, wow. watts? That's that's it, yeah. A lot, a lot of the compressors, are, uh, the main brands are pulling about 65, these are down at 45. So how much would a your fridge take, in a fridge freezer in your motor on? How, they they tend them? to be a lot more power hungry, um, so they'll run anything from 60 watts right up to 100 watts, depends on the size and more. Right. And ours don't even get cold like well, ours this. Ours doesn't work, ours doesn't Probably. work on gas at the moment. No. no. So we can only use it on sites. Yeah, so this will work on 12 volt, 24 volt and mains mm -hmm. it'll go down to minus 20 and up to plus 20 and obviously it's dual zoned so you can use it as a freezer like we've got in here mm -hmm. and then but you can still keep your non-frozen stuff as a fridge so oh, they're, right. they're not freezing so milk water things like that or you can have the whole thing like this one's at zero degrees you can have the whole thing as a fridge so you're not freezing and how, like how long did you say that takes to yeah. freeze down to minus 20? About half, half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get below zero in about 20 minutes. That's incredible. Yeah. And there's three three sizes, so you've got the total freeze 35, yeah. total freeze 45, and total freeze 55. Can we have a look in this one? Of course you can. A, it's the biggest. Sort of, you know? And there's a box of tea. Yeah. That's bigger than our freezer, my Yeah. Frozen, and then obviously you've got your removable trays as well. That's, that's how deep it is, guys. That is incredible. That's far, That's probably twice the size of our freezer. It's so no, good. And what's that really I would good? One of these. The two-year warranty. What's good is the price. So that it's only 350 for the 55 wow. litre, 400 for the 45, and 450 for the 55. Fantastic. So yeah. Yeah, really good product. Yeah. There you go. You all know about these from this channel. Look, this is a 500 watt got, one. Yeah, that's it's the total power 500. This will charge one of these for 20 hours. 24, 25, and it'll stay cool. Yeah, it'll run it. It'll run it. Um, yeah, you'll get at least 24 hours out of it, depending on the ambient. Are there different wattages? Sorry, I didn't ask that. No, they're all going to pull. The stats on them are 45 watts. Mm. They actually pull about 36. That one's actually plugged in. You can see it. So that would also, you can charge that on your solar panel. But that's only when the compressor's on. Yeah. So obviously the compressor's intermittent, so it's not always pulling 45 watts either, which is good. But if you look at this here... Stick on the Okay. 
This is going so this. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This is this comes. The compressor's not on now, can you see? So it's pulling nothing at all. Wow. Six right. Watts is pulling without. Yeah, the no, that's the input. It's pulling zero now because. Oh, uh, sorry. No. So, so, so if I turn it down, because it's at temperature now. If I get the compressor to kick in, to so take a minute. Um, your compressor, your compressor. Okay, when that compressor then kicks in, yeah. There you go. Bump. You can see now. Now the compressor's trying to get it down. It's still only pulling about 35 watts. 30, 36 watts. That's nothing. But then when it reaches the laptop. Yeah. Then when it reaches temperature, it'll just shut off. So yeah. Very very good. And there's a digital display here, so it tells you exactly what your battery's doing. Oh yeah. So if you plug into your motor and you want to see what the battery's doing. It'll tell you, and it has a it has an auto battery safety shutter, so at nine volts it'll just cut out, and it'll stop your battery from being fat and you're not being able to crank your engine. Are you wanting to see? Uh, just want to buy it. Well, what, studio? well, what did you Today. want? You wanted this kind, didn't you? Well, I thought this is going to be better quality than this. Are you kind of honest? Motorhome. Motorhome. So if I was you, I would be say, I want to say to everybody, right? If you've got a motorhome, take a take a, one of each, right? Yeah, but they light up, don't they? They do. Yeah, but that's no be a good nightmare. for us in bed. No. Yeah. No. Oh, it's pretty bed, as they are. No they're just a nightmare. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> so one meter, do you think, is big enough for the bed? Yeah. Two, we'll have two one meters of them then. Uh, I've only got one meters in the. Ah. Like so it's either two well, get meters. Get a red one. You like red, don't you? Or what do you mean, just? Yeah. And uh, An iPhone. iPhone. Mm. What do we get more? Da, da, da. So what I want you to do is send me the video that you took yesterday. If, you oh, could, right. if I give you my email, send it over to me. Yeah. Uh, you can have another two. Yeah. Oh, bless! Teamwork makes the dream work. Send it now. But I don't think we need them, do we? What other phones have we got? Don't I'll just double you up, Ryan. I'll just, uh, I'll just double what you've got. It's already on, by the way. It went on last night. Wait, what are you? Travel Trolls TV. Travel Trolls TV. Have you got a card of that now? So these are like your portable, portable, sorry, kind of washing machine. It's bigger than a washing machine out of a house, mother. Not possible. Well, they're that. not small. This is like your twin tub. I'm guessing you can spin dry that on that as well. And actually, we did a video quite a few years ago now with us using one of these. Yep, you used it once and you never used it again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yours were a bit like this actually, wasn't it? Yeah, mine's a bit like that. And then I got the, um, no, that was the dryer. And then I got the wash a property. I might do another review on that actually. No. Yeah, well. So they're 80 pounds. Yeah. It's pretty cheap. They are cheap. I paid a lot for mine. Um, 40 pounds. But these are quite useful for some people. So there you go, you can get these at the show too. We were watching this guy yesterday. We've seen him before, haven't yeah, we? He's at yeah. every single show. Yeah, we never filmed him, I don't think. I don't think there ever was such a thing as a motorhome show. I think he came around first and they built the show around him. <laughs> around him. He's always been there. <laughs> and he just chops up loads and loads of edge in really cool shapes. With all these sizes. different attachments and stuff. And it really is a good tool. It's good, but it's yeah. a bit like the washer-matic, Mazzy. I think it's just he's very good at it. I don't know. I don't know. I do I always wonder what he does with the food at the end of the day. This is the product. I did actually think about getting one yesterday, but I thought, you know what, that's just one, a one-time wonder and straight in the <laughs> cupboard. I thought you were going to say bin. Well, <laughs> I'll just consider it. What is that actually coming out? It's water. It's water oh. mixed with oils. Oh, I see. So it's a disc at the bottom that vibrates like thousands yeah. of times and it creates a mist. Yeah. I've heard of this company. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really nice. Stuff. It smells yeah. like. <laughs> like the lady just said, you can't really smell it with your masks on, but I'm sure I got a really strong smell of strawberry there. Yeah, very unusual. You don't want to spend the money. <laughs> wow. And one cube of wax will give you over 10 hours of fragrance. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so the plug-in lights. Yeah. You've got your little bowl up there, put yeah. your oil in, put your wax in there. Yeah. What and was the, it, one cube for 10 hours? 10 plus hours, yeah. And it's the light bulb itself that's warming up the... It just um, gently warms yeah. it so you're not burning it like a candle. Yeah, and the nice. smells are delicious, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. They're really nice. How much are these? 24. Wow, that's yeah. 
Uh, how much? 24 with a lifetime warranty. Right. So if anything ever goes wrong with it, they will just re send you a replacement. Right. Okay. £24 and the company's called... Is this really? Yeah. Oh, you've got it up there. We've got that Facebook page. Yeah, let me give you my... There's my card. Lovely, thank you. I might get one one day. If you're at Peterborough Show, I'll I get am. one. Yes! I'm at Peterborough. <laughs> I always do these two. She's already spent £300 yesterday. Oh, have you? So I'm not letting her have anything else at today. At least it's not 60000 on a new motorhome or something. Well, it, it week, was though. once. Was it? <laughs> Yeah. So yesterday, yeah. I bought you a lead. You bought you, yeah. You know how to charge your phone up? Yeah. What have you just said to me? I need a lead. <laughs> she wants another lead. No, I'll tell you why. Let me just poke this down quickly. With my iPhone, I have trouble with plugging it in for charging, and it's the same hole to have my headphones. It's so much, and mine's the same actually. Yeah, it's complicated. Basically, she wants another lead. Unbelievable. A real one. This is called Extreme Cords, <laughs> so we'll go check them out. Okay, so you've got your lead. I have. Thank I've got you. one as well. Over there. Oh. Oh, you needed one too, did you? Well, yeah. Now these come with a year's guarantee, which you find incredible on these, because they only last two, three weeks for us. Yeah. Now, the beauty about these is, this Molded. gentleman is now going to get me that thing which shows all the frayed ends. Ah, oh, here it is. Everyone's leads do this, don't they? They all do it. This doesn't, because he's got this, what did you call it? It's moulded in one piece it's on both ends. It won't happen. So a year's guarantee. So we've got one of each of them. Yep, they come in all lengths, really long ones Up as well. Up to three metres, which I've yeah. not seen three metres anywhere. No, before. I've never seen them anywhere. And you can get yeah. really small ones, really, really small ones. And they're corded, they feel really strong, yeah. don't they? Yep. I think that's going to do the job, Mazzy. Yep, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good Stay day. Well. Bye. Uh, Extreme Cards, by the way, I forgot to say. Is that, what's the website? Extreme Cards. Uh, Mazzy has dragged me over to a hair dryer. You had to throw it in, didn't you? A hair dryer. Well, listen, this is 12 volt, especially for travelling, and you know, our normal ones don't really power up in the van. So, this is to me interesting, as it will be to many women. 12 volts. Now, yeah. I'm looking at it. Look, it is a 12 volt connector on the end, so you could actually use this in one of. We have a lot of these, don't we? Yeah, we have a lot of these, so it would work out of that, I'm guessing, but we're going to get a little demonstration on it, I think. So. Uh, yeah, there's one thing why I'm really interested in this, because your normal travel ones you buy from Asda's 15 quid or whatever, rubbish, absolute rubbish, so I'm really interested. It blew up. Away the first day you yeah, had it. I had to bring it back. Oh, so. okay. You told you anything about it or no. not? No. We're waiting for you. <laughs> ah, right, okay. We know more about your leg than this. There's <laughs> 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 my leg. Oh, dear God bless you. <laughs> well, you'll know more about this than I will because I ain't got that. <laughs> okay? But from what all the hairdressers tell me, yeah. it's the airflow that right. actually dries your hair. Oh, right, okay. As in, when you put the washing out, yeah. it's the airflow that dries the washing, not right. necessarily the sun beating down on it. So, so it's not the heat? It's not the heat, it's the airflow, yeah? Okay. Oh, okay. Is that what keeps the power down, then? Yeah, on a 12-volt hair dryer, generally, they yeah. put so much effort in trying to get the heat that it just burns itself out. You can't get the power into it. Right. So you don't get no heat, you don't get no power. With this, 30-watt fan, Put my hair. Put on your hair. Okay. Can the viewers uh, feel it? <laughs> yeah, can you feel that? <laughs> okay. There you go. So However, is there different settings? if you do want a bit of heat yeah. on it, what you do, your simple, if I pull the back off this, Oops, I've got the top off. Don't worry about that. <laughs> your normal outlet. Yeah. If you're heating in your carbon on your motorhome, the blow yeah. air heating system. We've got them, yeah. Yeah, you've got them. So you, you shut off all your ducts, okay? Shut the ducts, yeah. Shut the ducts, turn your heating on to whatever temperature you want. Yeah. yeah. Open this one duct that you're going to use. That's really interesting. Push your hairdryer in to the duct, okay? 
Some people say, oh, my duck's on the floor. It yeah, won't fit. that's where all ours are. So yeah. what do you do? You see how far that is? Yeah. You put it in upside down. I was oh, wondering yeah. that, actually. Okay. Yeah. Turn it on, and then you, you'll have the heat coming through the heater, and this will just draw the heat through. Yeah. Wow. OK, so what you're saying, is without the duct, it's cold air. Yes. But if you want warm air, it's still the same, still on 12 volts. Yes. So let's turn it on and see how many watts it generates. It's plugged into here, I'm guessing. Here we go. Permanent instant ceiling. So you can have peace of mind. Yeah, you can see it. Here it goes on. Functions the entire train. Even the biggest tires. That's incredible. The most demanding environments do not cause a cooling problem. 34 watts. In over 80 countries, the UK. 34 watts. The last hair dryer you had was 8 900 watts. The hair dryer? I can't even do the hair dryer on these. You won't do the hair dryer on no, them, no. No, it cuts out and it just, yeah. It will that is incredible. Even on my bigger one, though, 1200, I think we've got one of them in it. Don't, it is a house. You know, hair dryer. Yeah. But, um, and that's the trouble with, with the hair dryers. Yeah. On the sides, you ain't got the amperage coming through. That's why they're always yeah. blowing the fuses. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I even brought a travel hair dryer, and it blew up actually since that's the, the first time she used it. There you yeah. go. Smoked and blew up. And a lot of women want want these sort of products on the road, don't they? They do. <laughs> I don't know. I've never asked yes, they do. They, they do. Yeah. <laughs> the men want all the nice little flary bits that, that stand like out. Ducks and all the gadgets, yeah. That's it, the air ride. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so this yeah, is lovely. a company called, how do you pronounce this? Come on. Ixu. 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 They come in various colours. Recommended retail is under £30. Sure price, £70. That's it. Very the internet price at the moment is £99.99. Oh, there you go. Okay. And, and the, the other next. beauty of this thing is it's designed and engineered in Spain and it's made in Spain. Right, okay. okay it's made by a Spanish motorhomer who invented it because his wife and his daughter has got long hair. Yeah. And they kept moaning, and Dad, you're an engineer, make us something to dry our hair when we're out. So that's I'll tell what you what, there. people who actually travel to Spain and to the continent in the motorhomes, that would be nice, cool. You know, yeah. blow, you'd want the cool air as a fan, wouldn't yeah. you? Exactly. You could use it as a fan. I quite like them. I think they're stylish, actually. Very nice. Yeah. So the actual website, I'm guessing, is vats.co.uk, yeah? Exactly. Which should be, is it on here? I'm thinking. I've got it here, yeah. yeah I've it got it here. And what, they come with five different colours? Six. Six different colours. Six different colours. Six colours. Oh, there so you if go. anyone's interested, yeah. check them out. We're quite impressed with them. I do think they're very good. And the exciting thing is we are going to be doing a review on one of them hair dryers. Hairdryers, yeah, coming up soon, so... And fingers watching. crossed, we're going to get his tyres done. Yes. We're going to get his tyres done. I think that is the best thing I've seen at the show. Yeah, I didn't know that existed. really good. So I'm going yeah. to look into that in more detail when we get back. Especially, like, our tyres are, you know, a few months new, old, or whatever you want to call it. It'd be nice to look after them, wouldn't mm. it? Mm. Yeah. Kadak. Oh, more Kadak. Go on then. We're on a Kadak stand. <laughs> yeah. Quite excited. First Kadak stands, Kadaki things we've seen since I got yeah. a Kadak. Yeah. Accessories and stuff. Now, the only ones we haven't got on here is a Paella pan, 50. No, but Oh no, I was thinking this. Oh, and that one, the roast pan. That yeah. looks really good, doesn't it? But I'll tell you straight away, look at the prices. We must have gotten a good deal, really. Getting it as a package, did we? Not sure. Not sure. I can't really comment on it because I don't know. But yeah. They're the two we haven't got, and I think we will get one of them one day, the roast one. Yeah, definitely. We've definitely. Got the others. This is. I think my mum's got one of these now, or she was thinking of getting one. This is Fire Chef Two, which is yeah. the smaller tabletop one. Look, it folds up into nothing, really. <laughs> and can I just add to that, actually? Um, since being at the show, we've had quite a lot of people, of our viewers, ask us, how is the Kadak? What is it really like? And it is brilliant, yeah. isn't it? We yeah. love it. We do love it. We love it, yeah. Uh, ah. Oh, that's cheeky. The company in Ireland I got ours from said uh, that didn't come in a box. Oh, no, it wasn't a box, was it? Sorry, it was the bag. The bag. The bag. Look at this, though, look. I do like this. I think this is um, that's, more space safe. I think that's great if you've got a camper van. Yeah, yeah. To save some space, just slide it underneath in your storage. That's really good. Yeah, really 
good. See what accessories they've got. So you can actually get a smaller version than that one by the look of it. Yeah, this one here, look, a Grillo Chef. Grillo Chef. Oh, is that still Kadak then? Uh, yes, it's exactly the same on yeah, top. It's Kodak, yeah. So the only thing I've got out of this show, Mazzy, is a bucket. A bit in a bucket. <laughs> a bucket. Finally getting one of them, so. I'm going to get that and get off in a minute, I think. Yeah. Got to go shopping and then go on a new campsite. But we've really enjoyed this show. It's been really good, hasn't it? Been it? Fantastic. Met some wonderful people today. Fantastic.